Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This should be a treat. This is Noble L Works Chinook Showers. And there is no commercial description on this one. I got this one from uh, Serval Liquors uh, out uh, in San Diego. Uh, their website is craftcity.com. And what I like about that website, any of the beers that you look at, most of them have the rate beer and the beer advocate ratings on it so it gives you kind of an idea of what other people are thinking about the beer just in case you're thinking about buying something from them uh, uh, it's a nice uh, guideline to go by I mean you can't always go by that sometimes uh, the ratings are a little low and uh, sometimes they're not so uh, it's just a nice uh, uh, a nice website uh, and they ship all over I mean uh, and they don't gouge you on the shipping uh, you, uh, you, you can order some stuff from them as long as your state allows them to ship it to them I did have one of my subs tell me well they don't ship to uh, Rhode Island or somewhere and uh, they have no control over what states allow them to ship beers to them if the state doesn't allow it they can't ship it to you but most of them it's not but a handful that's like that but uh, check it out uh, uh, craftcity.com and if you're in the San Diego area it's, their store is serve all liquors Alright, uh, since there's no commercial description on this one, let's go to the food pairings. This is an American Double Imperial IPA. This one comes in at 8.8%. I don't have an IBU, and I'm calling it Chinook, Chinook Showers. I would think they're using Chinook hops on this exclusively. Just my guess, guys. Uh, food pairings for this, uh, cuisine is barbecue, cheese is peppery. Pepper, uh, pepper Jack Sharp, Blue Cheddar, Your More Pungent Cheese, Gorgonzola Limburger. And these are just suggestions, guys. Uh, the meat is this, for this one, is game, grilled meat, and salmon. But like I always say, I mean, if you like pizza or tacos or whatever your case may be, if you like chicken nuggets or McDonald's with it, I mean, whatever blows your hair back and knocks your socks off. So if you're a hop head, you, you like these kind of beers with just about any kind of meal. So, uh, glass wire. As I told you guys, uh, I'm using more of the Snifter uh, Tulip Oversized Wine Glass for most of the beers from here on out. The pint glass is okay, but it doesn't do the beers justice if you're wanting an aroma on the beer. Unless you're only pouring a half a glass where you've got some headroom in there to really get a nose on it. So you're going to see me using the Duba Glass more and more for, for the beers that I do. Especially the IPAs and the double IPAs and stuff like that. It just enhances the aromas just a little bit, especially since I'm getting my big old nose down in the glass. So, the uh, the beer being an 8.8 .8 can be cellared, but you're gonna lose, the hops are gonna fade over time. So, uh, unless it's a super boozy beer, which I don't expect this one to be an 8.8. .8, it's not like it's a 12 percenter. Uh, you want to drink this as fresh as possible. All right, guys. I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So let me pop the cap on this one. This is a 22 ounce. Uh, bottle. Nice little hiss. A little bit of smoke out of the top. And that's about all we're going to pour in there for right now. And on that about two fingers of head on that pour. And it is kind of hazy. I cannot see the bulb through it. So it's uh, got a little bit of cloudiness to the, to the beer. Nice uh, white, tiny bubbles on the uh, side of the glass, but there are some big old bubble, bubbles in the center right there from that uh, semi-aggressive pour we did. So let's get a nose on it. All right, it has a very citrusy, orangey smell. 
very fruity, tropical fruit. Tangerine, oranges, mangoes, a little bit of pine, maybe a hint of some grapefruit. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised by how fruity it smells, using probably being a single hot beer. Uh, got a lot going on for for a single hot beer. I would have to say that. I didn't think you could get that much different fruity fruity aromas from just using a Chinook hops. Wow, got a wonderful aroma. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Donovan. Very nice. Not bitter on the back end at all. Wow, very pleasant. A nice sweetness to the beer. I would put this in the line as far as a sweet IPA. Maybe with a uh, with a Bell's Too Hearted to Ale. I'm not getting a, a heavy bitterness on the back end at all. Mm. Very nice. Alcohol is very well hidden. Very well made beer. I don't think I've had anything from, from Noble before. They're out of Anaheim, California. Boy. I am pleasantly surprised with this one. This is a this is a pretty tasty beer, guys. I was expecting a so-so beer, but this is pretty damn tasty. I have to pour a little bit more in there. Gotta save some of this for the other half. I'm sure she'll want a glass of that. Wow. The grapefruit and the uh, tangerine oranges is really pleasant in this beer. Not having anything from uh, Noble Ale Works before, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's pretty damn decent beer, guys. Well, let's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, you know the deal. Let the other half taste it, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, got just a little left here. And it says right on the label, drink before 9, 30, 14, so we're just under the wire there. Uh, very pleasant beer, I mean it is very tasty. Uh, Noble, Hop, Noble Ale Works. I like to say is it's a pretty damn tasty beer. I haven't had anything else from these guys, but this one's definitely a winner. Let's do the final chug. For Chinook only hot beer, single hot beer, it's very tasty. Citrusy, very floral, a lot of pininess and Fruitiness, uh, oranges, tangerines, mango, grapefruit, a lot of stuff going on in this beer. Very, very tasty. Uh, other than the IBUs, I don't, I don't know what the IBUs are on this beer, but it doesn't taste like it's very big. Uh, between 65 and 70, if I was guessing. It's not got a very bitter back end. Very nice, very pleasant. Reminds me a lot of a... Uh, of a Bell's Too Hard at Ale with the, the sweetness up front and not having a really big bitterness on the back end. So, very, very tasty, guys. Uh, a 9 out of 10 for me on this one. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty damn pretty damn tasty. So, if you're, I don't know what the distribution is on the Noble Ale Works beers, but uh, if you're in the Anaheim, California area, I'm sure you can probably pick this beer up. Like I said, I don't know how far out of uh, uh, Anaheim that they they distribute their beers, but this is pretty damn tasty. It's definitely if you're a hop head like I am, it's definitely one to pick up and uh, put on your shopping list uh, to pick up and give it a try. I'm glad I got to try this one. Uh, thanks to Donovan uh, at uh, Serval Liquors, CraftCity.com uh, for uh, letting let me try this one. It is very very tasty, guys. Let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 90 in their outstanding range. I think it's a tad better than that. If I was putting a numeric rating on this one, it would probably be somewhere between a 97 and 98, somewhere in that area. It's, uh, 
it's pretty damn tasty. Not quite to the outstanding range, but for a single hot beer, it's pretty damn tasty. So, over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says no score requires more ratings. So, I don't know how new this beer is, or not. the distribution is so small that not enough people have uh, reviewed or rated this beer yet. So, to me, it's 9 out of 10. So, if you've had this one from Noble Ale Works out of Anaheim, let me know what you think about this one, guys, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe we get us a 10 for too long. See you then.